Hello. Right then, in this next set of videos, um, what we're going to do is we're going to start a new project and we're going to be modelling a Spitfire. Now this will be different to the last set of videos um, where we just pretty much winged it as we made things. Uh, no pun intended. Um, this time we're going to use reference images. So what that means is we're going to import some images so that we can trace the shape uh, rather than having to do it by eye, which can make things a lot easier. So, um, we need to get that ready. So, if you have a look at the reference images I've already got, you'll need to make sure you've got some reference images of your own. So, you can either follow the link that's with the video to download these, um, or you can find your own. The only important thing you've got to remember is that your top view is pointing down. Uh, your front view obviously has to point to the front and your side view is facing to the left. Uh, these are the images we're going to be using. So once you've got your reference images you need to make sure you have a project to work on. So to do that you just click on file, go to project window, click on new. Um, I'm going to call my project Spitfire because I'm modeling the Spitfire, that just makes sense to me. Pow! Um, and then you need to choose somewhere to save it. So I don't want this location because I've got somewhere else I'd like to put it. So I'm just going to put it on the desktop in my Spitfire folder that I've already created. Lovely. Okay, so all these folders we do want. So you can leave that as it is and just click accept. Beautiful. Okay, so if we just minimize that for a second, we can now look in the Spitfire folder and see that our project has been created. We've got all those lovely folders. Right, so here is the first um, important step. Putting these reference images in the right place. You can work with them anywhere, but if you don't put them in the folder I'm about to, if you ever change between different machines, uh, you could lose your images, which is a bit of a nightmare. So what you need to do is put them in the source images folder of the project we've just set up. So I'm going to select those three images, pop them in there. Great stuff. Okay. So now they're in there, all we need to do is in the next video attach them to the cameras so that we can start uh, tracing them. So the next video will be all about importing and positioning uh, those reference images. I will see you there.